Okay. Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are appreciated for all of your support. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. And many, many blessings to you and your families. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light always. Okay? I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. Okay? Anything the enemy enemies have stolen from you is is being returned or being returned immediately. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are being dismantled or dismantled immediately and permanently. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay. All right, so this is uh, this is actually looking good. We have balance being brought into a situation, judgment. I think someone possibly expected you to be defeated. Someone is absolutely burdened with the fact that you are recovering, healing. You uh, you possibly escaped some type of trap your enemies were setting for you. It's that you narrowly made it, like you barely made it through. Like they literally were more than likely celebrating your defeat, your downfall, something of that nature. But something happened where the Most High intervened and you escaped. You see how this small this passage is. Let's make it even smaller, okay? That's how tight it was, but you made it through. And you were walking through darkness, didn't know where you were going, kind of going through like a dark night of the soul. Just a whole lot of secrets and maliciousness. Just a whole lot going on behind the scenes. But judgment, justice is being brought into this situation. Balance is being brought into the situation. Things are going in your favor. Some of you may have court cases going on, have court cases coming up um, that will be bringing justice for you. Things will be going in your favor, okay? Uh, someone in here, there may be like a judge or something that's seeing things from a higher perspective or judgment has been made and someone is being forced to see things from a higher perspective and kind of stop this madness that they have been leading. Someone has been leading friends and families in the wrong direction. Someone knows that there's an end ahead of them, that there's some type of ending that is inevitable for them. They cannot stop it. They cannot prevent it. So let's say you're in some type of uh, a line up with someone. It's not really a competition, but something is supposed to come to you. Let's say someone is working a job position and the while they are there is not really flourishing someone doesn't really even care about what they're doing they just like the financial benefits that comes with that position okay we're just using that as an example and then whoever gives them that position or whoever owns that company and decides that they want to put someone else in their company because this person they've been there for a while and they're not really doing a good job. They've been patient with this person. They've been trying to give this person time to kind of figure out their nonsense and their ins and outs. They're, they've been trying to give them time to dot their I's, cross their T's, have their ducks lined up, but this person just has never gotten it right, right? This person just seems to care about the final things in life, looking good. This is kind of what's going on. And then the owner of this company comes across you in some way. Maybe you come and work for this company for a while and this person know, gets to know of you and they're like, okay, I like this person. So they take more time and study you to see if you are worthy of the position they are wanting to give you. Somehow your enemy, your nemesis, your competition finds out that you are being considered for this position so they start coming after you they start doing things behind the scenes in order to prevent you from stepping into their position into their organization into their community something of that nature um but because they have they have uh, uh, people around you betraying you they're bribing people paying people doing all kinds of stuff whatever it is they're doing in your situation 
it, it becomes a situation where you're basically surrounded by wolves, surrounded by thieves, criminals, right? And any move you make is being documented and reported back to this person that's losing everything. This is kind of the situation some of you are in and some of, with some of you, this is a relationship that this has to do with you partnering up with someone else, someone new, whoever they were with or their family does not want them with you. So they've been doing things to interfere with this connection coming together. It is something of that nature, but justice is being brought into this situation. People are being forced to see things from a higher perspective and accept defeat. They've been causing a lot of illusions, trying to make some type of new beginning for you and this other person or you in this organization extremely difficult. It was never meant to be this difficult, but whoever is losing something or someone has made it extremely difficult because they don't want to let go. It's almost like someone knowing they're about to go from living in Beverly Hills to maybe somewhere in, let's say, like the south side of a city or something like you know, you see, like, going downtown in the city. Someone is about to fall really hard from grace. This is why they've been doing so much to block a lot of you uh, pathways uh, so that you don't step in your abundance. They can keep it and keep making false promises to the people around them because this is what a lot of these people are doing is making false promises to the people, the accomplices they are uh, um gathering with them is that hey if we can block them you know they can we can get we can give you this you'll be here forever you never have to worry about being, about being fired meanwhile the person you're telling they'll never have to worry about being fired is lazy as heck does not care about their job let's say let's say i used to work in uh healthcare let's say the person worked as a cna i used to work as a cna this is someone that comes, they don't take care of the, the residents, they don't do nothing for the residents. They stay on their phones all day chatting and then they'll still go and chart that they provided this service to the resident, they did this for the resident, they did that for the resident. So because a lot of people in this community are not doing what they're supposed to do, these residents are not really taken care of and the business is kind of falling apart, but these people don't care because on the level that there are, although group that they have formed, they have made it in a way where they benefit financially from things being the way they are, things being broken, things being damaged. So it works in their favor. This is what some companies are going through that are wanting to work with you, okay? It, the companies have been destroyed so badly that they are desperate to get some of you in there to fix it, okay? Some of you could be nurses, some of you could be doctors, uh, just something right because of the fact that i mentioned nursing uh, the nursing field that could be the situation that's going on okay but someone knows this chapter of conflict manipulation causing illusions all kinds of stuff causing people to be blind to the truth right causing stagnation all kinds of stuff it's over someone knows that they've martyred themselves they've destroyed their future they were trying to destroy your future, but they ended up destroying your future. And this chapter is over. You're still stepping into your abundance. You're still stepping into your, your blessings, right? You're still going to have this passion in your beginning. You may end up in a relationship with someone that, that will love you, understand you. They've, it's been a whole lot going on. Some of you are being blocked out of relationships out of job positions, out of inheritances, you can't even understand. Some of you may not know about, but everything in balance is being brought into the situation, okay? This period of weight, stagnation, uh, uh, difficulties, it's all over. You have your abundance. Like literally, you. this is, let's say, this is you and this is the finish line, right? And basically, you're almost, you're almost here or you're already here. And the most high is just about to say, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've done everything we needed you to do. You've learned everything. You've learned people character. You've learned the devious ways of people of mankind. Yeah, you 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 have you have arrived. So if you're here, you've let's say you used to be here and you've somehow managed to make it here, the most high say, Yeah, you're there. It's time to step into your abundance, okay? So the Most High has been prepping you for this situation, for this abundance. 
and whoever is behind the scenes, they are absolutely worried and burdened that you survived, that you made it, that you recovered, they didn't want you recovering. This is someone absolutely toxic and karmic. They could gather a lot of other toxic and karmic people around them to partake in this mess. And a lot of them will be going through some type of ending. I'm telling you. Yep. You, you're you ensure your victory. Someone is coming towards you from the past. Wanting to give you some type of solid offer. Hoping that it leads to victory. Whatever that is. The Most High has an offer for you. A blessing for you that's far more abundant than a Knight of Pentacles offer. This is someone from your past that wants to come in and make things make it look like they are genuinely interested in you. This is a solid offer they're giving you and it's supposed to lead to victory. And the Most High is telling you, you need to see things from a higher perspective so you don't miss out on your actual victory. Okay? Someone may want to come in and pay some of you to walk away. Is that, hey, we know because they're not going to tell you the full story. If you don't know what the Most High has blessed you with, they're not going to tell you the full story. They're going to say, oh, hey, we know you're aware of what we've been doing behind the scenes and we want to want to compensate you for your damages. Here's $100,000. But it's like uh, the whole time you have a whole maybe job position that has been given to you, that has been secured for you. You have a whole company that's been secured for you. So this person from your past coming in to give you some type of solid offer, it's a slap in the face. It's that we don't think you know about what, what you have, so we're just going to shorthand you. It's like, uh-uh, nah. Collective, be vigilant. Pay attention. These workers of darkness are always committed to their cause. No one knows what their cause is. They don't even know what their cause is. As long as there's money attached to it, they're interested. Be vigilant. Don't let anyone shorthand you out of your blessings. Okay? Someone from your past wants to have victory with you. Someone is having some type of fond memory of you. They remember you now. They're saying that they betray you. They shouldn't have betrayed you. Why do people always find out once you're gone? Why is it that once they lose what they have, that's when they realize the worth of what they have? Why is it always set up that way? I want to figure that out. I want to know the answers. Why? I don't get it. It's that you can be you can be a, a, a star see smack that in the face of a person. Be genuine as possible. Genuine to them. And they won't see it. They'll say, oh, they have a terror motive. They're fake. They're not really genuine. But the whole time, this is you. This is you. Okay, this is you. Some of you have someone from your past that, that wants to bring balance into your life because they know what people have done. You may not have been in a relationship with this person. They may not be a friend or anything. They just they, they are aware of you. And they're bringing balance into your situation. Some of you, this is the justice system. Being aware, coming into the know about who you really are, that you are someone sincere, someone genuine. That what people have been doing has been a disadvantage to you. You didn't do anything to these people to deserve it. So the justice system may be bringing balance into a situation. Returning to you what was stolen. And this is going to lead to your victory. Your enemy knows their time is up. I heard something that said, the devil comes with a soft-spoken voice. That is for someone and you need to pay attention to that. There is someone in your vicinity that speaks very soft. This can be a masculine or a feminine energy. They speak softly, but this is the devil in disguise. This person speaks softly to you because they know that if they show themselves, it's going to alert your alarm or waken your alarm. But some of you are so vigilant that it don't matter how soft-spoken a devilish person is, how good-looking they are. When you see a devil, you know it's a devil. If it looks and acts like a duck, what is it, uh, sir, ma'am, collective? It is a duck. Quack, quack, quack. Okay? 
You are being advised to take charge of your path. People are confused. They're like, we caused all this stagnation. We caused all this con conflict, manipulation for you. Difficulties. How do you still have the strength to move forward? How are you having victory over us? We martyr you in ourselves. We didn't care. As long as you weren't moving forward, we were fine. You're still moving forward. You're still being seen as genuine. You still have victory over them. And you're still moving forward. No matter what the enemies did. And that's what's confusing them. How you still have the strength and the power to move forward. Don't let anyone shorthand you. Do not let anyone shorthand you. Someone may be trying to keep control. They don't have any control of the situation. So they think they're going to come in and underhand you, undercut you. Hey, I have 25 cents. I know you're worth a million dollars, but I have 25 cents for you. You're like, what? The heck am I supposed to do with 25 cents in this day and time? I can't even buy a soda with that. The heck is wrong with you? What is What is going on with you? You need to take charge of your life. Or this is what a lot of you have done regardless of what has been going on. And you've manifested the reality, the dream that you wanted. You forgot about a dream or something that you manifested a while back in your past. And the most high is reminding you about that dream now. You manifested a beautiful life. Whether it's a job position, a business something some type of collaboration with someone or an organization is here and the most high is thrusting you into it say yes you started from here and you're here we're gonna help you the rest of the way and they're telling you disregard all of the conflict these people have been causing it's been there for your ascension, for your education. They were there for educational purposes. Someone knows their time is up. The game is over. They have to give it up. Okay? They have to give it up. Someone has been very much committed. They've been committed because your game is their loss. The moment you get what, what's yours... It's done for them. This is why they're so committed. That should show you why this person is losing this position or whatever this is, whether it's a person, place, or thing. That should show you why they're losing it so that when you step into this, whatever it is, you don't repeat the mistakes this person repeated. Do not be greedy. Do not let greed guide you in anything. Why you do something in life you never have to do with the financial benefits of it. It should be strictly because of your pleasure you get from that, from doing that, joy, passion, you get pleasure from doing it. You genuinely care. If it's a company, you genuinely care about the employees. You don't have to pretend. Do you know how hard it is to pretend to care about people? Someone has a master's or PhD in pretending to give a crap about other people, to, get, to pretend to be genuine. Someone pretends to be this, but they're not. And people see them for exactly who they are now. Someone has been pretending for a long time to be something they're not. Some of you, these people may even be pretending to be gifted. They're not gifted. Someone has been pretending to be a magician and they're not. I'm telling you, you're moving forward. High honor. You are moving forward. And your enemies know that. Someone is about to lose everything. Some of these people are losing businesses because they form an alliance with your enemies. Your enemies came to them and they paid them. They said, hey, we need you to block this person from moving forward. Here's $300,000 for your company. If you can block them from moving forward, keep speaking sweet to them, kind to them. Speaking sweet words of nothing in their ears. Making false promises. Some of you are in companies where they're promising you positions now. They never have any intentions. They've never had any, any intentions of giving you. 
It's all false promises. And they're doing that because they want to keep you stuck. They feel paid behind the scenes to keep you stuck. They didn't want you moving forward, but you're moving forward. You've manifested this in the spirit realm already. You're just about you're just now about to get in physical contact with it. Is that is that it's already yours in the spirit? Here it is in the physical. So you are headed straight for victory. And then know that someone thought if they cup cat cup excuse me, if they kept causing stagnation, complications, difficulties, illusions around you, you will eventually give up. Someone was causing problems for you and just sitting back and watching some of you go through heartache, disappointments, and you didn't even know it was the person that was doing it the whole time. Someone close to you was doing this. Someone close to right in your face. Right in your face. For some of you, this is a best friend. Some of you, this is an ex-lover you were with for a long time. Some of you, this is your favorite co-worker, your, 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 your work best friend, your work bestie, your favorite cousin, your managers. Some of you, this, this, these are your children doing this, older kids, and you never knew. They were right in your face the whole time. Some of you, these are best friends you've known for ever. They've been working with the enemies behind the scenes to block your forward movement, but you're still moving forward. Still moving forward. Some of you, someone is being paid to come into you, into your energy, give you some type of Solid offer, and it's not going anywhere. Keep your distance from this person. Anyone from your past, keep your distance from them. They are all living in fear because they know what they've done and what's coming up ahead of them. They're about to lose everything. When I say everything, everything. You know how Cat Williams said, everything, everything. That they're losing everything. And they are afraid. Someone is trying so desperately to hold on to something that does not belong to them. It's ridiculous. Someone is not getting sleep. Someone is just, they're losing it. And why this person is losing it is because someone is impulsive. They're rash. They're desperate. They act up royally. They never thought they would get caught doing what they were doing. Someone never expected to get caught. They thought they had it all figured out. And the most high sat back and watched them. Your ancestors sat back and watched them. They said, we're going to let you do this as long as you want to. But there is a time stamp on it for us. We're going to let you think you're going to be getting away with this. And you'll always be able to do it. But there was a time. I'm telling you, there was a time stamp on it with the universe. Someone didn't realize they had already arrived at that time. They can't cause any more illusions. It's over. So someone is going to be taking some type of impulsive action to come in to mislead you. Because... <laughs> they're not in control. Things are not going in their favor. They're not keeping. They're not keeping what they thought they were gonna keep. They may want to come now and extend a friendship to you, but they're hiding something. They're hiding something. Someone took a risk, and it was the wrong risk. And they know that you know as well. Yeah. They're hiding something. Their motive was to steal from you, but they can't do it anymore. They're exposed. This was their intentions. They said, we're going to go in. We're going to extend a friendship to them. We're going to act like we've healed. We're genuinely interested in working with them. But secretly, they wanted to come in and steal from you, but they cannot. They cannot take from you. 
They say if we if we can block them from receiving this, if we can keep them from receiving this, they'll take a new path. It's like nah, nah, that's not what the most high decided. And you know, you know. Everyone in here knows balance is being brought into this situation. You know what they are doing. Some of you are high priestesses. You don't have to be around these people to know what they're doing. It's revealed to you in visions and dreams. You know. Someone is exposed. They are exposed. What does this say? Get cut. Slander. Revelations. Need to be alert. Reparation. Deceive the self and others. Thank you. They're exposed. Hmm. Someone, someone is very much deceitful as can be. Very, you see this seven of swords showed up in this high priestess. Someone has either been lying about a high priestess, which would be you collective, and there's a tower going on. Someone may have said that you were a dark worker, but you're not. Someone may have deceived a high priestess. And she may, she or he may be pissed off about that. Okay? Because it's leading to some type of loss for her. Someone deceived a high priestess. I'm telling you. And she's worried. He or she is worried. They're burdened. How are things going to go? They already know. I don't know why they're asking. It's over. The game is over. Someone martyred themselves believing that they had accomplished or achieved victory over you. It's a no. They martyred themselves. Someone destroyed themselves. Their finances, their connections, their relationships, they destroy everything. Meanwhile, you're being seen as genuine. Said, this person doesn't have ulterior motives. You told us this person had ulterior motives. No, they don't. You've been causing a lot of conflict. You've caused chaos in this person's life. And they still chose to move forward and put an end to this chapter. They're still working on manifesting. You mean to tell me you did all this to this person and they still chose to move on and manifest a new reality and you're pissed off about that? You're burdened about that? Someone is still out here in a, a high vibrational energy after everything you all did and you have the nerve, the audacity to be pissed off. Is that what this is? Be careful, some of you in the collective. Someone wants to come in and lay it on you as far as love. They said, you are my soul twin. You're my soulmate. I'm so sorry I didn't see this before. I see it now. I don't know why I treated you the way I did in the past. You are my wish come through. I want to have a relationship with you, a brand new passionate beginning in love with you. And the moment you deceive yourself collective and let this person back in, it's going to be about three weeks of true love. And then the truth is going to come out. You're going to find out this person was playing with your emotions the whole time. It's said, uh -huh. look, folks, I'm back in. She took me back. He took me back. We're good. I have connection to this abundance, so now I can really block them from moving forward. This is what someone is planning to do. You are just fine by yourself. The most high will connect you with the person you're meant to be with. I'm saying that because as someone that watches me, you're so focused on finding the perfect partner. It's not, it's not your concern. You're supposed to be focusing on your pentacles, ma'am. You're looking for a partner everywhere you go. Every person you see, every guy you see, is that my soulmate? Is that my soul? They're, they're not your soulmate. They're not your soulmate. You will not have to go out looking for your soulmate. You're going to run into your soulmate when you least expect it. Okay? 
They said one day you go to the grocery store, your hair is not done, your lip is crusty, may have a booger or two in your nose, something of that nature. Your pan, your sweatpants has stains on there. You're wearing a thing top that has a hole in it or something. That's when you're going to find your soulmate. And he's going to be, hey, beautiful. You're like, oh my gosh. Why does this always happen? Why is it that the day I look my worst is when a guy wants to talk to me? But that's when you're going to find your soulmate. When you least expect it. Okay? Someone knows it's over. There's a high priestess that knows it's over. Some of you, this has to do with a spiritual position. And this, the high priestess that's in that position. Yeah. The high priestess that's in that position is done for her. She knows that she's not the choice. You are being considered for the choice. You have been chosen for that. So, cho uh, for that. Excuse me. You have been chosen for that position. It's ensured to you. There's nothing anyone can do to block you from receiving that position. That inheritance. She knows. That's why she's burdened. He knows. That's why he's burdened. You are true. You are in the upright. You are genuine. You don't have any ulterior motive as a high priestess. You, the collective, you genuinely care about people and about, and about what you're doing. This woman never did. This man never did. They just care about the money that came with it. This is like a position where you travel all over either the country or the world. Doing readings for people, helping people see things from a higher perspective in their lives. Understand what their karma is or karma are. How they can help learn their karma so they don't have to repeat it in the next lifetime. How they can, uh, 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 what is it, deal with certain traumatic experiences they're going through because you've had a lot of traumatic experiences yourself so you understand now how to maneuver your way through it right but you do it in a genuine way you're going to do it in a genuine way someone didn't care someone does not care about people someone only cares about money and looking good that's all they care about. And that's why this position has been taken away from them. Some of you, this person got this position in an ill manner. They were never meant to have this position. But maybe you weren't aware that this position was available to you. And someone did some trickery. And they stole their position. And guess what? It's been taken away from them. They said, hey, yeah, you can't keep this position. It's not yours. You had to let go. We don't care where you go. If you want to stay here and wash dishes, that's up to you. But this position right here, this one right here, this one right here, you got to let it go. It's not yours. And they're heartbroken. I just saw the, the, the three of swords out here. Someone is heartbroken. I'm telling you, someone is burdened because it's not going in their favor. Okay, it's not going in their favor. For some of you, there's a masculine that now knows that the relationship he was wanting to have with you, someone wanted to start something with you, but other people were interfering with this relationship from coming together. These are family members, co-workers, someone like some people of that nature around this person. They intervene with two people coming together. So this person, he's not even sure if you want to partner up with them because they know that you know what's been going on. Someone may have even betrayed some of you in the past, speaking ill of you, throwing dirt on your name, but now they want to come back in and give you an offering and you're going to be looking at them like, what a clown. What a clown. How do you expect someone to respond to that? Imagine, let's let, let's do this. Imagine you and someone you meet and you extend a genuine friendship to them, right? And it starts turning into something, I guess, emotional. But it's really just on an emotional and conversational level. Nothing intimate as far as physical. So this person knows that you are genuine. But then people start coming in their ear because they're jealous, Right? And starts telling them all kinds of nasty stuff about you that's not true. And instead of your friend asking you questions, they don't. They start partaking in this nonsense. 
and then they start speaking dirt on your name if excuse me if you ever told them anything personal or private they start telling people that maybe they even start calling you dirty or delusional that you have a mental illness something of that nature and they start spreading this with other people some of you they may have even said you had a one night stand with them and you're you're looking around like one night stand where one night stand with who me never okay now this person they're going through some type of defeat the truth has been revealed that it was all uh an illusion it was all deceit now they want to come back to you and what happens you're going to look at them like they're a clown like you want me to get with you after everything you did you thought i didn't know what you did but i did it's something like that and they're burning because they know you're not going to choose them you're moving on. It's like, bye, see you later, see you later. Adio, adios, hasta la vista, salud, au revoir. Like, I'm on my merry way. Yeah, you're keeping your distance from this person. You're not choosing to be with them, and they know that. Someone has also received communication that they cannot come in your energy. You're not choosing them. You're protecting yourself. They are afraid that you're not going to choose them. They already know you're not choosing to be with them. And whoever this has to do with the position, this person knows they're not the choice for this position, and they're living in fears that what's going to happen to me? Am I going to lose my home? I'm just, you're going to lose everything because you tried to get someone else to lose everything. So you will be losing everything. Someone is in fear. They are living in fear. Yeah, I'm telling you, fear. They've done too much. They're heartbroken that you are still receiving your abundance. They want to interfere, but there's nothing they can do to interfere with you receiving your victory. It's the end. It's over. This is it. You know how Michael Jackson said, this is it. This is it for your enemies. Okay. This is when the enemies start coming in. After they betray you, family, friends, foes, and uh, frenemies, whatever we want to call them. This is when they start coming in talking about, can we talk for a minute? He's like, uh, no, we cannot talk for a minute. You stay where you are. We don't have nothing to talk about. This is when the people that thought they were too good for you. It's, hey, girl. How you doing? My name is Irrelevant. As I said, be gone. It's just ridiculous. Okay. These people know. They know you know. They know you know you're, they're watching you. You know they're watching you. They know they're watching you. You know they know that you know they're watching you. You know that you you know that they know that they know you know. Okay? Is that you know that I know that you know that I know that you know that I know what the 411 is. We all know. Is said does, does, she, does she know? Yes, she knows. D -d 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 does he know? Yes, he knows. He knows. It's not a secret anymore. You were trying to keep it a secret, but it's not. You thought you were going to come in and rob someone, steal from someone in some way, shape, or form, gaslight them. No, you're not. It's illuminated. They know. They know. Okay? They know. Someone has martyred himself. And they're about to lose everything. 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 Say, so everything must go. Maybe even you. Someone is about to lose their home. Yep, they bonded themselves. They're about to lose them, their home, their wealth, 
their friends, friendship, collaboration. Someone, when they leave an institution, they will never be able to return to that institution. Never. This is like someone being in an enterprise or something of that nature. Once they leave, they cannot return. And they're heartbroken because you know, you know that it's the end for them. For some reason, your enemies, they're, they've been so worried about you knowing something, but it's like the whole time you already knew. It said, does she know? Does he know? Does she know? Does he know? Does she know? Does he know? And they said, yeah, we knew, but the most high said it was not time yet. So we had to keep our mouths shut. Yeah, we were told it wasn't time yet. Someone has binded, abounded themselves to something they can't get out of. Some of these people may be going to prison, going to jail for a long time, for taking something that didn't belong to them, bribing people behind the scenes to cause endings for some of you. It's all exposed. Someone thought there was no evidence of everything they've been doing behind the scenes, but guess what? It's a bold-faced lie. There is evidence. There is evidence dark energies they don't they don't they don't uh, uh, realize it does not matter how many people you gather together to go up against one person it can be 300,000 of you and you can assume all 300,000 of you are dark minded have dark hearts ill intentions have the same intentions there will always be at least one or two people amongst you that has morals they may hide that they have morals but they do and they're going to do the right thing so someone has trapped themselves. They were trying to bring you legal issues, but they've caused an ending for themselves. Someone is going to jail for being exposed as a thief, for being exposed for bribing people behind the scenes to do someone something. Someone could have wanted you to be on a live. Have you out of here? And the whole time, this has been you, Collective. Staying calm, being brave, moving forward, going through that dark night of the soul. Someone know it's over. It is over. And the whole time you've been going through that dark night of the soul, you possibly had no one there to assist you. You had to go through this entire experience by yourself. But just know that the Most High was watching over you. I'm telling you. Hmm. Mm -mm. Someone knows you're still receiving what's yours. This has to do with a pentacles. With work, a position. There's a decision going on for what, what's yours to be returned to you. You're going to be receiving what's yours. There's a whole meeting going on to return to you what someone stole. It said, we can't do this anymore, Marley. We can't do this anymore, Charlie. It's not... Working. This person is still going to come get what, what's theirs. We're still going to go get this person what's theirs. It's different for all of you. It said we try. We try everything. We try deceiving them. We've tried deceiving the people around them. We've bribed the people around them. Family, friends, foes, enemies, everything. It's, it didn't work. All that's happened is we've lost money. And they're still having a brand new passion and beginning in life. They're still going to be receiving this abundance. Someone is burdened because this decision has been made. Something is exposed. It's like, this position is not yours. What are you doing here? And someone has been feeding a whole lot of lies about how they came into a position Yeah, someone has been telling a whole lot of lies. How they received something. They didn't tell people that they stole it. Someone didn't tell people that they are a thief. They thought they were going to get away with this. They're not. They're not getting away with it. Thank you. They are not getting away with it. 
someone is being exposed as greedy, superficial. Someone does not know how to be. Someone does not know how to be content in life. They never have enough. Thank you. They never have enough. You're going to have wish fulfillment collective. You will have your Ace of Pentacles offer your blessing from the Most High because this is who gave you this blessing. As I said, you manifested it in the fist in the uh, spirit realm, and now it's in the future, in the pres present, in the physical. And the Most High is thrusting you right into it. Say, "Yep, you did it. You're here." We know you maybe had a hundred more feet to go, but we're gonna thrust you right into it. You're ready. You're prepared. And the Most High is telling you when you get into this position, everything you've learned during your trial period, this stagnation period, you need to utilize all of those lessons, those experiences to make sure you are aware of the characters around you. Because you know as you elevate in life, new levels, new devils. You will be surrounded by devils and angels. And it is going to be up to you, your responsibility, to learn who... <clears throat> The devils are and who the angels are. I'm telling you, use your discernment. Use your discernment when you step into this position. Use your discernment. Because the people around you will want to deceive you. If they think they can get one over you, guess what they're going to do? Well, these are dark workers. They don't heal overnight. They're not going to put in the work to heal. They don't care about healing. They want to care about the good things in life. Feeling good and feeling fly. Looking good and looking and, and feeling fly. Having the best of the best. They don't care how they got it. A group has decided, they have accepted the fact that you are going to be receiving your Ace of Pentacles. And they're okay with that. Your, your nemesis may not be okay with it, but this group, they're like, okay, yeah, we got to give it to her. We got to give it to him. They deserve it. They've done the work. This is theirs. We can't do this hiding anymore blocking anymore it's ridiculous it's redundant let's go give them what's theirs and someone knows that you and your nemesis you are complete opposites is what i'm being told you two are complete opposites if this is a job position this is someone that's reckless they don't care about their job show up whenever they want to treat people anyhow right treat people anyhow because of their position someone let their position get to their head they felt invincible they've been making promises to people behind the scenes that hey yeah i'm the new ceo of the company so you know i can have you fired if you don't do what i'm telling you and the people they're bossing around i don't know if they don't have two screws right they did it some of these people were afraid to lose their jobs. That's why they took orders from this moron. If this has to do with a relationship for some of you, whoever this person is leaving, they are the complete opposite of you. It's like having <clears throat> a wild, a wildling and a conservative person. I don't think you're conservative collective, but this, I'm just using that to emphasize the difference. Someone is loose and reckless in every way, shape, and form. Whereas you are modest, classy about how you carry yourself. Right? Diplomatic, educated, tactful. Right? You're not reckless with your mouth. When you see your partner is in need of something, you step up and help them in whatever way they need assistance in. Someone like this, if let's say a masculine told her, hey, can you please get me a cup of water to drink? Go get it yourself. What's wrong with your legs? What if that person is sick? What if, what if they're going through something? What's the big deal about going to get a cup of water for someone to drink? What's the big deal? Because you're going to want them to do that for you at some point, regardless if you're sick or not. You should be able to ask your partner, can I get a cup of tea? Can I get a cup of water, a cup of juice? Can, I, can you help me with this? Reciprocity. 
and they don't understand why someone does not want to be bonded to them. Someone has been ta attacking another character. For some of this is someone specific. There's a woman that has been attacking another woman because she thinks her husband is leaving her for that woman. They, these two people, the man and the new woman, have never met, never talked, nothing. You two don't even know each other. But somehow this crazy lunatic has been attacking you from behind the scenes because she thinks you and her husband have something going on. For some of you, this is the ex-wife and the new woman. The ex-wife is coming after you. It's, uh, uh, saying that you destroyed their marriage when their marriage was destroyed way before you came along. It's something like that. For some of you, a man had a choice between you collective and another energy and he's choosing to go with you and the other energy has lost her mind. Why? Because she knows this man is wealthy so she wants to be attached to him. So she don't give a crap about him. She does not give a crap about him. She just cares that he's wealthy. I'm telling you, he's wealthy. He's wealthy. Apparently, spiritually as well. That's why she wants to be attached to him. Mm. What this is, even though they know you're getting what's yours, they're still taking actions behind the scenes. This is how determined, this is how determined dark workers are. Like they will know, like you can put a sign in front of them saying, hey, Alyssa is here today. She has started her position. They will still be doing something to get you out of that position. It said, are we not going to see the fact that you spent the past year, the past 10 years, trying to block Melissa from receiving her, her position. She's here and you're still trying. You have mental illness. They want to put an end to you receiving this Ace of Pentacles. You're going to receive it. And they're burdened by that. They don't want someone taking action to bring this to you. But you're still receiving it. These people are losing everything. For some of you, if this person... Yeah, if this person received what was yours, yeah, they know it's over. They're losing it. Someone is burdened that you're still going to be receiving a message from an emperor about either them wanting to be with you, work work with you, or give you a position. Someone has been blocking communications. It's like, shut her emails down or reroute them to someone else. To an email address that does not even exist. Forward them somewhere else. Block their phone calls. Reroute their phone calls to voicemail. And this emperor said, all right. It don't matter how long you all take. This person is still going to have this new passionate beginning. They're still going to have it. This car is stuck together. Mm. Yep. There's an emperor in here. I'm telling you, he's taking something away from someone. These people cannot fight with you anymore. Okay? They're now fighting amongst themselves because they know they're not going to be receiving this opportunity. Someone made a lot of false promises, and this group is aware of it now. They said, like, oh, you mean it's not going in our favor? We're not keeping this person's abundance? It's like, no, you're not keeping their abundance. It's going to them. Okay? You're not keeping it. Someone literally thought they had defeated you. Someone thought they had some type of victory over you. It was a short-lived victory, basically. My goodness. Someone celebrated a little too early. I was trying to find a way to word it. 
This celebrated a little too early. Someone has been watching you and sending a message to an emperor and saying, hey, they were sending all of these messages. Yes, they're defeated. They're going to be staying with us. They're not going anywhere. Hey, she's going to be staying with him. He's going to be staying with her. They're not going anywhere. And someone was in the background. <gasps> Yay! We won. We defeated the star sea. We defeated the star sea. We took what's theirs. And only for the most high to step in and say, I think not. And now they're fighting amongst themselves. Okay. So now what's going to happen is someone may want to come in to do damage control. They want to do damage control. Someone has a lot of ambitions. But the way they go about wanting to accomplish those ambitions it's not in the upright. This is part of why this is the sources out here. Someone is not in the upright. Someone is guided by greed. Someone is overly ambitious. Meaning they will do any and everything to be wealthy, to be successful. That's a problem. And they still don't understand why they could not defeat you. There's a lot of conflict going on behind the scenes. Everyone has their own motive for why they were coming after you. Everyone wants to have what belongs to you. They can't. You're still going to be receiving what's yours. They can't. They can fight for it all they want. They're not going to be receiving it. I'm telling you, they're not going to be receiving it. It's over for them. And someone, someone has a, a lot of anxiety they're dealing with. So they're going to take some type of reckless action. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go into that because we need our enemies to do what it is they want to do. So I'm not going to say anything before someone is able to come in and cause you illusions. I'm going to, I'm going to keep that out of this reading. But someone is about to take some type of drastic action that's going to lead, that is definitely, it's like if they don't know or want to accept that it's over now, they're going to take some type of action that's going to just wipe them out clean. You're having this new beginning because even though people were trying to end you, what well, you found the strength to keep going. You, you, you. You find the strength to keep going while people were trying to destroy you, defeat you. It says, stay calm now. You know how I stay calm? Collective, this is you. You know how I stay calm when you were trying to have me on a live, trying to destroy me, take everything from me? Now you're going to have to stay calm yourself. Keep your head up. Hi. You're going to have to keep your head up. Yep. And you, collective, you are getting what's yours. A promotion, ten of pentacles. You see how that changed? You went from a seven of pentacles to a ten of pentacles. That right there is nothing but favor from the most high. And this is what these people have been wanting to take from you. They cannot. They cannot. You may have had someone, like another feminine energy, presenting herself to be you. I said, no, 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 no. That's not the collective. I am the collective. So I said, nah, we, we don't think so. Like, I made that person so I know who they are. You two, your energy are nothing alike. So, no. You come with death and destruction. That person brings light, love, and healing. Completely two different things. I don't know who you are. You watch me. You're always wondering what zodiac sign I am. I don't really pay attention to zodiac signs. But what I will tell you is I'm a menace to society. Hopefully that helps you figure it out. So 
the emperor here going through endings because he made the wrong decision. I don't know why I'm being guided to say that he was misled by someone or a group of people. Someone initially was in the upright, but they took some type of action that ensured their ending, their demise. Anyways, source, what is your advice to us today? What would you, okay, what would you like us to be aware of? All right, two, it says you relate to others on an almost cosmic level. You are dedicated to building a harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. I am harmonious. That comes out a lot, so there is definitely a message in there. Use your gentle nature to resolve conflict. Don't be rash. Don't be impulsive. I think that's what it's telling you. Yes, people may wrong you, but be gentle. Be true to yourself, okay? You don't need to scoop to people's level for anything to be resolved. You are always going to get what's yours, as you can see, regardless of what people do, right? Regardless of what people do to you, whether in your face or behind your back, you're still always going to get what's yours, okay? Yeah, you're still going to get what's yours. You're someone that's innovative. Yeah, you're going through growth, acceleration, and it's here. It's not in the future. It's here. You're someone that's business savvy, great at multitasking. You have a new opportunity being presented to you. This is something you didn't know or people were hoping you didn't know, right? And they were trying to keep it away from you. It's like they thought the longer they kept you waiting, the longer the stagnation was. You will give up, but no, you are a star seed. You're hopeful. If there's one thing a star seed is, it's hopeful. There, I mean, their main purpose is to bring hope, love, joy, light into people's lives. So these kind of people don't just give up hope. No. You may be working with a king of wands, or this is you taking that energy, taking stance. You're about your business savvy, right? A great manager. This could be you stepping into your masculine energy. You have both masculine and feminine energy balanced out. Queen of Pentacles, your business savvy. Yeah, this has to do with you stepping in your masculine and feminine energy when it comes to business. You pushed forward regardless of what was going on. You're almost at the finish line. Did I mention something about that? You're almost here. You're about to be reaping your harvest in this brand new passionate beginning. Queen of Swords, you have your swords pulled out at these people. You know the truth. You're not about to let them BS you around because that's what dark workers do. When they cannot defeat you, they will try to BS you around so that you can second guess yourself. You're not confused. You know what the truth yeah, you know is. You're going to be receiving your positive news. Someone is burdened by that. They know it's over. They know it's over. This is something that's going on that I'm not wanting to say because we need this person to carry this out. We need this person to carry out this action. And I really wish I could say what I know it is this person is about to do. But I'm not going to. You went through a waiting period, some type of stagnation period is how you saw it, but it was not a stagnation period. This was the universe prepping you for this position, this new life, this new energy. You have arrived. There's a king of cups here that's going through some type of disappointment because he betrayed you. Someone took some type of action. This could be someone you dated in the past or someone you had a close bond with, some type of close relationship with. They betrayed you and now they're not happy about how things are going in their life. They're going through some type of ending while you are celebrating. You might be forming like a soul tribe with your new friends, families, whatever this is. You're about to be celebrating. People want to share with you. People want to hang out with you. You're about to be influential and things like that. Absolutely, your pathway is clear. Oh, yeah, this is not going well for your enemies. Your pathway is clear. It's like this is this is what people wanted you in. This is what people wanted you in. Your enemies may even want to come in to give you some type of offer to trap you in something like this. But they cannot. You're a star seed. You're not meant to be. 
someone wants to come in and trap you in some type of toxic union with them because they want things to go in their favor, but it's not going to be working. You're protected. I'm telling you, it's not going to be working. There's a masculine that's going to be coming in to cause some type of illusion, but you're protected from this person. They may not even be allowed in your energy. A decision has been made. It's final to return your wealth to you. There could be court proceedings going on, a marriage going on, or that took place that's going to be dismantled. Something was going on, but you're about to be receiving some type of agreement or contract or position with an institution. Yeah, and it's going to lead to abundance. Someone has been trying to hold on to this, so they may want to take some type of action to come in and cause you some type of illusion. But you're being advised to go for what is yours. Take action. Stand your ground. And the fact that you're standing your ground is leading to a tower for these people. They didn't expect you to know this is the corporate of this group. This King of Pentacles is going through an ending. And this is divine intervention. Someone causes a lot of illusions around them. Pretends to be something they are not. And it's divine intervention that this person is being exposed. Someone may be giving up. Because it's like they've done everything to block you, Queen of Cups. And they cannot. You're the Queen of Cups and Empress. Dang. And you're strategic in how you move. You're showing up in a lot of masculine energies. They're, yeah. There could be like a king of swords that wants to work with you. Maybe walking away from these people. There's someone has a plan though to come towards you. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.